Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to discuss how to use VLOOKUP function in Excel where we have duplicate or repeated values. So here in my data I have some customer names and their order items and their prices where some customer names are same like here I have Rahul 4 times in my data and all are highlighted. Now here, if I change the name from Rahul to Priya, then all the customers whose name is Priya will be highlighted here. And here I will see the, and here I will get results of all the customers whose name is Priya. Now again, if I change its name to me too, then I will get result of me too and here I have only one customer whose name is me too and she is here so we will learn how to use the lookup to get all the customers name here we will use the lookup function to get all the, whose, all the repeated customers name so here we will use the lookup function to find out all the customers whose name is Rahul or whose name is Priya and so on. So here if I use normal VLOOKUP like equal to VLOOKUP and my lookup value is Rahul and my table error is this. And then comma. And I want its order item, so I will choose column number 2, 0 for exact match, and then press enter. So here I got only one result that is grossly. It, because it finds out the customer whose name is Rahul and who is first in our data. Like here, Rahul, this Rahul is first in my data. If we use normal VLOOKUP like this, it will find out only the customer, only the first customer whose name is Rahul and it will provide me the order item of that particular person. But it won't search for the Rahul which is on the second number in my data or which is on the third number in my data. It will only find out the Rahul which is first in my data and then provide me the result. So now let's see how to use we look up in a different way to get results like this. Here let us first understand how to highlight repeated name. Like here if I type Priya and here if I want to highlight Priya in my data. So I will select my customer names column and then I will go to conditional formatting and then from here I will choose new rule. And from here, I will choose use a formula. So here, simply select your cell like this, here, and then equal to select your A3 cell. And always remember to remove the dollar symbol from A3, and then go to format. From here, you can select any color and then ok so this is how you can highlight the customer names like here I have three Priya in my data now if I change the name from Priya to Rahul then all the customers whose name is Rahul will be highlighted so now first of all you need to make a helper column for your data so now I need a helper column like this here I will use a counter formula equal to this cell and I will use dash here and count if from b3 and then press colon 
3 3 comma my criteria my criteria would also be this d3 cell and now fit this first d3 cell with the help of f4 key so here i got my name as victor sharma 1 so here i got rahul 1 rahul 2 rahul 3 rahul 4 and rahul 5 Here I have used D three. This is my customer name, and I use and symbol, and then I have used dash, so that I get my customer name and then dash and then one. Because in my count if formula here, in my range from D three to D three, Mr. Sharma is only one time. That is why I got Mr. Sharma dash one as my answer. Now, if I go to Rahul three, it has counted from B three cell to B ten cell, and here from B three to B ten, Rahul is there in B five cell, and then Rahul is there in B ten cell. That is why I got Rahul dash two as my answer. Now again in this cell. Here it has counted from B three to B eighteen cell. So in between these cells, Rahul is three times. That is, first Rahul is here, and then second one is here, and this Rahul is third time here in my data. So that is why I got Rahul dash three. So now let us use the lookup function to get our results. Here I will type serial numbers. You can type as many serial numbers as you. Bonds. So in my customer name, I will use the lookup formula equal to the lookup. My lookup value would be Rahul H two and quote double quotes dash double quotes and this. D six cell. So this is so this is my lookup value, and it means that I want Rahul, and then after that dash, and then one, which is this Rahul dash one. I want to find out this cell Rahul dash one. It is my lookup value, and then for my table array, my table array would be this. And then comma column index number. My column index number would be two because I want to find out my customer name and then zero for exact match. So here I got Rahul as my answer. So now if I drag it, I don't get my result because before this you need to make some changes in your formula. Like here. First of all, you need to freeze your lookup value that is H two with the help of F four, and then here you need to freeze your G column, and here you need to freeze your lookup array or table array. and then here instead of column number 2 we will use the column formula columns and then from here my array would be this from a2 semi from a2 colon b2 and then here please your a2 cell And then close the bracket. And then press enter. Now copy and paste your formula in rest of the cell. So 
so this is how i got my answer here i have got all the customer name whose name is rahul and their quantity and their order item and the price which they have paid for that particular product and i got na in the sixth serial number because in my data i have only five rahul because in my data i have rahul only five times so that is why i got na for sixth serial number now to remove this na we can make some changes in our formula like this we can use if error function if error then open bracket and then at the end of your formula you need to use comma and then value if error so value if error it means that if you don't have rahul dash 6 in your data then what you want instead of rahul dash 6 so here i want empty cells so i will use double quote two times and then close the bracket and then press enter now copy and paste your formula in rest of the cells so here n is removed from my data and i got empty cells like this now if you don't want to show this helper column you can simply hide it with the help of control 0 like this and now if i change my name from rahul to priya then i will get results for priya so i have three priya in my data now if i again change its name to neetu so here i have only one neetu in my data that is why rest of the cells are empty so this is how you can change name and here that particular name will be highlighted and here you will get your results of that particular name hope you will like this video and thank you for watching